வெல்கம் டு சிலோன் வைல்ட் லைஃப் சேனல் all the most frogs advertise their readiness to mate very loudly in swamps and streams at night we are only just starting to get the glimpse of the sex life of frogs it appears that no two frog species take the same approach to mating indeed there's an utterly enormous amount of variation in how frogs do it research into frog mating behavior is also revealing the creative ways that frogs have evolved to survive and breed in different kinds of habitats all over the world There are still so much that we don't know about frogs and this lack of knowledge extends into the realm of reproduction. Given that most frog reproduction occurs in water bodies at night and there are almost 7700 species of frog known many in really remote places it's perhaps not that surprising from what we do know though it's becoming clear that frogs don't all do the same thing when it comes to sex the first step in reproduction is to find a partner In most frog species males initiate this contact via advertising their presence and readiness loudly Males call usually from a possible breeding site such as a pond stream or swamp Each frog species has a different call and Female frogs can recognize the call of their own species. When females are ready to breed, when they are full of eggs, they move towards calling males and pick the male that they perfect. Once a female frog approaches her chosen mate, he will typically embrace her in a position known as amplexus this most often takes the form of the male jumping on the back of the female grasping her either behind the arms or around the face because the first majority of frog species fertilize their eggs externally this positioning helps ensure that the eggs of the female are fertilized by the male when they are released while two amplexus positions are most typical in frogs there are seven distinct positions known So how long do frogs stay in amplexus? Amplexus duration varies greatly among frog species and has been reported as short as 5 seconds to several months. Of course, the actual fertilization doesn't take a month, so there's often a lot of time in amplexus without much going on. This can be a bit of a burden for female frogs as they may have to cart their mate around on their back the whole time.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. See you next video.